Hello, I'm Ellen, and this is the Ellen DeGeneres Show. Today we have a special guest. Give it up for Taylor Swift. Hey, everyone. Hello, Taylor. So, um, we're here to discuss what really happened with the whole Joe Jonas deal. I know I already interviewed you on this, but there's still a lot of controversy over this. And apparently, on YouTube, a lot of cussing. Yeah, I've seen it. How does that make you feel? It makes me kind of mad. I bet that uh, all those bad words and all those disses on you would hurt your feelings, wouldn't it? Yeah, but I'm trying to just let it roll off my back. Why aren't all Disney Channel and such stars like you? Um, <laughs> I guess I'm one of a kind. You sure are. You are just darling, you know that. <laughs> Thanks. So, what was the length of the phone call that you broke up with Joe again? 27 seconds. Ah, uh, yes. How could I forget that? That's so, so cruel, you know? What man could, in the right mind, do that to a woman? Well, I wouldn't say man. No, he's a baby. Oh, um, well, <laughs> <laughs> that would explain a lot. So, um, in a previous interview that I saw that you had done with someone other than me, you said that you drive past your previous boyfriend's houses and and you said that you don't do that to Joe very much because his bodyguards scare you. Now, are you afraid that they'll do what to you? They just creep me out. Oh, well, that would explain it. Um, they are kind of scary, personally. I went out with one of them once, and uh, it was kind of... A long story. Let's just say I got these boots from him. <laughs> oh, well, they're they're interesting. Uh, yes. I, I I still wear the boots, but I I I I try to forget about the other things. Um, like I mostly do with Joe. Yeah. Um. Well. Um. How how do you, how did you respond to the whole phone call thing. Um, I, I, I'm sorry if I'm intruding, <laughs> you know, into your personal life too much, you know. But uh, I'm really trying to get the whole story here to to just put an end once and for all to all of this controversy. Well, I was pretty mad. And I threw the phone after. Oh, well, there's a lot of rumors that the phone call lasted only 27 seconds because you hung up. Is that true? I hung up after he said that he wanted to break up. All right. So it is true, but I, I understand why you did it, though. Yeah. Because, you know... Just because you hung up doesn't mean that you are the culp that you are the perpetrator here. It still means that you're the victim. He broke up with you, for heaven's sakes. And even though you hung up, it was over the phone, people. Lame. I mean, I wouldn't have... I don't think that I would have walked away if it was in real life. I see... That makes sense. I mean, why did he not break up with you in real life is the question. Why did he have to start all this controversy and not just t 
talk to you in real life like a real person. Because he's a coward. A coward. Ooh, that's a good word. I hope you're getting this. Now, um, what about your relationship previously? What Was it good? What do you mean by that? I mean, well, close to closer to the end. They're okay. There was some good and bad moments. Um, would you like to go into detail about some of the good versus bad moments? I'd rather not. All right. I I, I try not to pry too much into your personal life. You're just so cute. You know that? <laughs> Thanks. All right. Well. You know, I just, I try not to pry. So, um, things were kind of slowing down near, well, right before you two broke up. Well, so you mentioned in your song Forever and Always. Could you tell me a little bit more? Um... We didn't talk very much towards the end. I see. So, what do you think it was that that really, you know, put him over the edge and made him torture you like that? I don't think you wanted to commit in a relationship yet. Ugh, oh, honey. Men. Yeah. I, I can tell you don't really want to talk today. Uh, was there an issue with Joe today? <laughs> no. I was just replaying the message in my head. Ah, uh, I see. So that really upset you, huh? Yeah. Well, I think we're going to end this interview a little bit early, seeing that, you know, I don't like to see you upset. You're just... I don't know. I just love to see you happy. You're just such a happy, perky person. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Well, um, actually, can I um say something? Oh yeah, sure. It's a message to Joe Jonas. You should never break up with the girl over the phone. Ever. Woo! Go! Taylor. I'm still having ankle problems. I'm sorry. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have uh, jumped uh, up when you were in the bathroom. At, in, uh, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, well. Joe, listen to her. You suck. And you're a big baby. And, and a liar. And I think we all agree here with that. And this has nothing to do with your fans. Yes, Joe. Your whole deal with breaking up with girls over the phone, which we know you did with Demi Lovato, too. You just have a problem. Will affect your relationship with your fans, so maybe you should change your breakup methods. Or just never go out with a girl again. I, I don't know if that's possible. I mean, you know, all those young girls are like, Ooh, Joe Jonas! Yeah, I know. But once they know your story, Taylor, they will never go back. <laughs> I can tell you're speechless. Um, I just don't know what to say to that. Well...